create a spot the difference activity book hi kerry here from dream creator b and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with kdp low content books and etsy with new training every week so be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below and before i actually start i really want to thank you all all my loyal subscribers for actually joining and subscribing and commenting and reaching out to me on facebook i really appreciate it and if there's any questions you have please put them down in the comments because i do try and answer them and i do try to find the solutions so thank you very much for getting me to the thousand subscriber mark and i hope we can continue the this journey as we go on. So today what we're looking at is creating a spot the difference activity book or um, just a spot spot the different activity that you can put into activity books and don't forget you can do it for children and for kids and for seniors for any niche group really and you can also sub niche it down into a specific area. So here it is and uh, self titans only gives it a 46 percent and the problem is when seeing the books here every single one of them are traditionally published but they still have a low bsr so could you compete yes if you know what you're doing and maybe if you pay for some advertising or you put it on pinterest or anything like that and there's only one book that is independently published on this front page and it's this one the christmas spot the difference and it's only 42 pages and it's 7.99 and yes it has got quite a high bsr but it is a it is selling it's showing that it is selling so it is a good idea. Also, you can be combining it with different activities within activity books. And don't forget, you can also be selling these as printables on Etsy and Teacher Pay Teacher or on your own site. So what I did is I went to create a Fabrica because I wanted to find a clear line art image instead of going to Vecteezy and cleaning the line art. I wanted something that I could start doing straight away. So I have an account with Creator Fabrica. Don't forget they also do have freebies that you can come along and get a hold of and you can be going to Pixabay and everything like that but you need to check the licenses. So I like this one so I downloaded this one and this is it and it gives me the commercial and full uh, print on demand usage allowed but I do need to change it so I wouldn't use every single image in the pack because I do need to actually be changing it and, but I do love these but then when I actually downloaded the files I got the JPEGs here and I also got the EPS and PDF so you got a number of different files but when I had a look on the preview mode I'll just move these down and I go to tools and it shows inspector the DPI is only 72 pixels per inch now this is a print book it'd be perfect if it's just for viewing on screen so it needs to be higher it needs to be 300 so what I did is I took the EPS file which is this and I went across to Convertio again I'll put the link down in the description for everything I'm using and I converted it to an SVG file so how you do that is you just click on here you choose a file so I'll do pandas just drag and drop and then click on here go to vector and SVG and click convert and then download and then I opened up a PowerPoint and then from here we're going to change the design size so the slide size click on design change it to page setup and i'm going to go eight and a half by 11 and i'm going to click ok and i'm going to scale up and i'm going to just get rid of those there so i scaled up because i've got nothing there then i'm going to go insert and i'm actually going to insert it from file because on a mac for some reason it just instantly converts it any images you drag and drop to 72 and we don't want that so i'm going to go for this rhino svg and i'm going to place it here and then i'm just going to make this a bit bigger so you can actually see what i'm doing and i'm going to get rid of the guides so you can again see what i'm doing so i'm just going to move this up place it here and obviously I need to make sure that I'm within 
those there. So I'm going to duplicate the image. And because it's an SVG, I'm actually going to convert this one. So I'm going to go graphics, convert to shape. And the reason why I've done that is because I can actually start taking things away. So I'm going to go to here and ungroup. And I'm going to move and change things. So I'll ungroup that. And the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cloud away. And it had a bit of white in it, so hence the reason it didn't go away straight away. So I've got rid of one difference. Now you can choose your differences. You can decide to have maybe eight things. You can have um, ten things. You can do different things. So I'm going to go in again and I'm going to click on this little hoof claw mark. I'm going to go into shape format and I'm actually going to fill that shape with some black. And then I'm going to click on this. I'm just going to click off it. Not letting me. So I'll choose something else. I click there and I can also change that colour. We can change that to grey. So it's just slightly off. And I've clicked on that hill there and I want to actually move that down. And then I'm going to move it across so that looks different again. So that's three. So we've got one, two, three, four differences in there. Um, here as well, we can actually be moving things. So I can be deleting some of these. Oops, I want to that one. This one I want to delete. That's it. So I've got rid of that plant there. Mm. I could actually just. No, I'll delete them both. And then what I could do is I could actually add something in. So I could insert and I could go to icons. And I could search for something here. Uh, maybe an ant. Let's insert this ant. No, it doesn't really fit with what I want. Might put an acorn, even though I don't think you get acorns. In Africa, insert, bring that down. Graphic format, let's see. I can't. Yeah. I can convert that to an SVG and fill it as well. But we'll just move it and put it there in between there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five differences just by moving things around we could even put a leaf in there or something like that leaf or a full leaf clover maneuver that bring it down again i'm going to actually convert that one to shape shape format and i'm going to actually fill it with white and shape and line it doesn't seem to be so that one's fine so that is how you actually create a simple spot the difference activity if you found this video helpful please click the like button and hit the subscribe button to be notified about any other training that i do also check out the playlist for how to actually create coloring books in powerpoint and also check out how to remove color from pngs and jpegs